lines. In the month of January, we usually have skates at our school, but since we can't skate in person this January, we're still gonna learn about skating. And we're also gonna work on a skill that's really important when it comes to skating, which is balance. So we have a lot of different balance challenges this week, and this is gonna help us when we can uh, do skating in person. Have fun. For our warm up this week, let's try skating around the house in our socks. If you don't have slippery floors, say maybe you have carpet, it actually works really well to use paper plates on your feet. And I'll show you what that'll look like in just a minute. So you wanna do the same things you would do if you're normally skating, and that's pushing off one foot and gliding on the other foot. Push off and glide, push off and glide. Great way to practice skating. So if you have carpet at home or your floor's not very slippery, then you can always use two paper plates, one under each foot, and practice your skating. Just be very safe when you're doing these warm-ups because I really don't want you to slip and fall. But the same idea applies. You push off one foot and glide on the other foot. Push off and glide. Good luck and have fun skating. This is the poly spot pickup. I don't have one of those round poly spots, so I'm going to use a box from Healthy Pancakes. Remember, you can modify any time to make sure something is not too easy or not too hard. So first, just try standing on one foot on your object and really get your balance. If that's easy for you, then try the pickup. on it. Our next challenge is called the broomstick challenge. If you don't have a broomstick, you could use a regular stick that you found outside, or you could use a wooden spoon, pretty much anything that's fairly long and straight. Um, this is probably best done outside. I'm doing it inside today because it's a little rainy out there. Um, but probably best done outside. Make sure you ask your parents uh, or guardian for permission before you use a broomstick. For our first broomstick challenge, see how long you can balance a broomstick on your hand for. It's really important to keep your hand directly underneath the broomstick. Another broomstick challenge is to see if you can hop while balancing the broomstick. This one's super tricky. See if you can skip while balancing your broomstick. That was pretty tricky. See if you can stand up from your knees while balancing your broomstick. Can you think of any other ways that you could challenge yourself to balance a broomstick? This challenge is the hop hop toss. I have a bucket of things I'm going to try to toss into a bigger bucket while I'm balancing on one foot after hopping. I'm not going to hop on these objects because that could be slippery, so I'm going to hop next to them. First I get my balance, hop, hop, toss. Get another item. Challenge, try the other foot. Pop, pop, this is called the shoe balance challenge. Pick one foot to balance on, and then you're gonna take your shoe off while balancing, and hold your shoe up. If that's too easy, try to toss your shoe back and forth a couple times. If that's too easy, try to flick your shoe over your shoulder 
and catch it. Another challenge would be to now put your shoe back on and tie your shoe all while balancing. Also, try those same challenges using the other foot. Good luck. This is the flick up and catch. This is very challenging. So start by just standing on one foot and then seeing if you can balance something on your toe. If that's easy, try flicking it up and catching it. Try it with the other foot and then also try flicking it from one side of your body to the other. catching it with the opposite hand. Our next challenge is to create a balanced obstacle course. I've created a pretty simple one here using towels and our dog's feeding dishes. Um, you can create whatever makes sense to you or is challenging to you. Um, just make sure you're being safe and also make sure it's okay by your parents uh, to use whatever items you decide to use. 